Hi everybody, it's Stacy from Quick Quotes and I am here today to walk you through step-by-step -step these September Club Q kits. If you have never been a Club Q member, uh, check it out online. Go to shopquickquotes.com, click on Club Q and it'll show you what you get every single month. We do new kits for you every month. It's $32, free shipping, you get 10% off of all other orders, um, you can opt out, you can skip months, but it's an easy way to get brand new kits from Quick Quotes every single month, so check that out. This is the kit that we have that we will be walking through for September. These are kind of fun, starting to be fall-ish colors, but they are great for summer adventure pages. And I want to show you what is in store for next month. And also, if you haven't been a member before, we also, uh, each month, ship, not only do we send two double page layouts, but we also send a pack of paper and ribbon and some extras too. So for your $32, you get an instructional video that I'm going to be doing here in a minute. You also get a 10% discount on everything else on our website. You also get a um, new two new kits plus the paper pack and free shipping when you're a Club Q member. So October is a really fun kit coming up because we use very muted tones. We used grays and browns and you, this makes it very easy to add whatever colors you want to it. So if you decide that you have pictures that are going to match, let's say, some reds, or maybe even blues, you can add other papers around here to match the colors that you uh, are gonna use for your photos. So the reason I love this kit coming up in October, I would just cut an extra maybe um, 11 by 11 to go behind this piece in whatever color you think your photos are gonna be. You can also use it the black and, leave it the black and white, but this is just a very easy way to add any bits and pieces of paper to this to match any photos that you have. So I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to get started with the September instruction videos. And if you ever have any questions about Club Q, uh, give us a call or get online and um, email customer service at shopquickquotes.com and we'll get you all the answers you need. Okay, so we are going to get started with the Go See Do kit. This is part of September Club Q, and I have in front of me the finished sample. We will be starting on page one. So go ahead and get your die cuts punched out, and I just put mine in piles, or you can leave them in um, and don't punch them out yet. Use them as you need them, punch them out as you need them. Um, on the instructions, it suggests powder puff, chalking ink, mocha mama, pumpkin pie, and denim. I actually am going to use, let's see, sandstone, pumpkin pie, and sunset. So I have three different oranges here. Uh, this actually looks really nice if you chalk it up in browns, in yellows, in blues. Um, but I'm going to use all oranges because I want to brighten mine up a little bit. Totally up to you. There's always, with any of our kits, there is always lots of suggestions, um, or lots of inks other than just the suggestions that we put on the instructions. So let's go ahead and get started with page one, Go See, Do. And the first thing that we are going to do is our cutting diagram. So if you grab this sheet of paper, you can follow along with me to use the cutting diagrams. So the very first one that we will be doing is this striped piece of paper. This is gonna be a pretty simple cut, but we need the big piece on here for the first page which is this right here. So we are going to cut a nine and a half by nine and a half, but we also want to make sure that our paper is turned the correct way so that we get stripes going this way on the two and a half by 12. So we're going to make that cut first. So what we wanna do is turn your paper in your trimmer 
to nine and a half and you want to be cutting this two and a half inch strip the just pay attention to the way the stripes need to go you put this in at nine and a half and you trim all the way across and then you have this piece that's two and a half by twelve we will be using that on the on page two so go ahead and set that aside and then you turn your paper and you cut this at nine and a half as well and you can do either side depending on which side you want to trim off I'll do this one so that the green shows but you want a nine and a half by nine and a half and I trimmed that little piece off I'm not sure I don't think this one is actually used on the second page but I would set it aside just to make sure And you have your nine and a half by nine and a half piece. We're going to use that on page one. And next we are going to cut, we're going to trim out these two pieces here. It's a four and a half by six and a half and a five by five. So we will put our paper in to six and a half. If we're into six and a half, we're going to do this piece. So at six and a half, we trim and then turn that piece this way to four and a half. And I'm going to write on mine. Don't write on yours because it will show, but just so you can see what pieces I'm using when we go to use them later. So that's a four and a half by six and a half. That is also Use, that one is actually used on page one, so I'm going to sit that in the page one pile. And then this piece that is left over from your blue is a five by five. So you put that in, trim at five, turn it sideways, and trim at five, and you end up with a five by five. This one goes on page two, so I'm going to write five by five. Page two. And the last one is a solid green piece that we're going to use for the diagram. It has plaid on one side, solid green on the other. And we will start with the five by seven. And then we're going to move it down and do a three by four. And then we do our two little banners at the end with the leftover pieces. And these scraps can just be tossed out of the way. Okay, so our five by seven, let's put this piece into seven inches and trim. So I'm actually going to just sit this piece aside for a minute. We'll come back to it. Turn this one to five. So this is a five by seven. This piece is just trash. You can throw that one away. And of course, if you've ever done quick quotes classes before, you know that we actually use a lot of the scraps normally, uh, but some of these end pieces we're just gonna toss this time. So let's slide the rest of your green paper back in and we are going to do this three by four piece and then our little banners on the end. So we are going to cut this at three inches. Save this, we're gonna make little banners out of, so three inches and turn it to four inches. So you have a three by four. And this is just leftover piece. The three by four is for page one. So I'm putting that in my page one pile. This little leftover piece, we are going to make two little banners. Um, one is two by two and a half, and one is one and a half by two. So we are going to, this is already at two, that piece that's left over is at two inches. So we are going to turn it to two and a half and trim. So 
so two by two and a half. We'll make that into a banner in just a minute. This little piece here, we are going to put down, just keep sliding it in to two inches. And then we're going to turn it to one and a half so we have a little bit smaller. So this is the two by one and a half. Now to make those into oh I forgot scissors. John, do you have a pair of scissors in here? <laughs> we're gonna make those into little banners, thank you. I'm borrowing John's office for this for this video. Luckily he has scissors handy. Okay, to make these into banners, what I do is just pull the two ends together, start at the corner, and trim up. And that makes, flatten your paper back out, and that makes just the perfect banner there. So I am going to Set that one aside. You don't want to do it at a really deep angle. Um, so that it has about the same angle that is on your instruction sheet. But again, you fold just the corners together. Trim up. And that makes a little banner there. So this small one goes on page one. The green one goes actually you know before you before you trim that what you can do for the two by two and a half I'm gonna grab the other ones here because on page two there's an orange one that goes on there so if you want the angles just exactly the same as the orange one that goes on page two you can take this two by two and a half little piece and put it right over top of the green and trim it so that it's exactly the same as that one I just folded mine over and trimmed, so mine's gonna look a little different than the other tags that are on the other page. But one way to do it so that it's exactly the same is use this as a template, put it over your green piece or under your green piece, and then you just trim so that it matches the orange. And then those will look all the same on page two. Okay, so that's all the cutting there is for diagrams, and we are going to start layering things on pages. So you can move your diagram out of the way, and your trimmer, and we're gonna get started on page one. So on page one, there is a brown background. It has flowery print with a little chevron on one side and brown on the other side. So go ahead and grab that. And we are going to just start layering the pieces on to make this page one. So first off, what we need to find are the two strips. This one is, I think, one and a half inch, and this top one is three inches. So find those two pieces, and the three inch gets adhered to the top. The one and a half gets adhered to the bottom. And if you have never used our powder puff chalking inks before, I will show you here. I'm using Sunset on this one, but you can use browns or blues or yellows, any color that you feel will go with your pictures. And what I do is I just run it down the edge. I do a little extra around the edges here, around the corners, but that just adds a little bit of dimension and extra color to your page. I love all the oranges right now. Maybe it's because it's fall, but our new um, fall leaves is really pretty color too. So whatever is suggested on our kits, there's always two or three other ones that would go well also. So you choose what works best for you. Go ahead and if you need to anytime throughout here, just go ahead and pause the video, chalk up what you need 
and then pick right back up where you were. So these are the two pieces that get adhered to the top and the bottom of your page. Once you have that done, go ahead and chalk up the edges of your nine and a half by nine and a half. That gets adhered right in the middle. And a lot of this is kind of covered at the top and at the bottom, so you can just center it. Everybody's piece will probably look a little different because you get a different strip out of the paper every time we cut it. So if you don't have exactly these icons, you have something very similar to that. So your nine and a half by nine and a half goes down. And then you have, out of your die cut, you have a yellow piece that is five by seven. And then the one that you had cut earlier is a four and a half by six and a half blue piece out of your die cut. I mean, out of your diagram that you cut yourself. This one, we actually are going to, you can adhere the blue to the yellow. This one's a five by seven with four by four and a half by six and a half on top. Glue those together. And then usually what I do is I get everything in place and then I go back and I tack things down. So if you want to, just kind of line things up. I put this just below, you can see just below the nine and a half by nine and a half, and about an inch in from the right side of your page. The next piece we are going to add, so this one, when you do tack it down, you want to make sure that this is kind of a pocket. So you put adhesive on the right, on the left, and the back, right, left, and the bottom. And when you put it onto your page, it creates a pocket. You have no adhesive at the top so that you can slide in your three by four green piece. And when you adhere that down, we put it almost to the edge of your nine and a half by nine and a half. When you adhere that down, I would also leave some space at the top for your banners to tuck in. So there are different size orange and yellow banners that you took out of die cuts. So you can see there's a bigger one and a smaller one. The smaller ones we are going to use on page one. The larger ones you can set aside. Chalk those up. I'm gonna use pumpkin pie on my yellow here. This pumpkin pie looks really pretty. And we'll tuck that one in first. That one goes almost to the edge of the green and almost to the top of your page. Next we have your two by one and a half that you trimmed out of your diagram. That one gets tucked in right next to it, just a little bit, so that it's coming up right to the top of that yellow one and your orange one, your smaller orange one, not the large one, but the smaller orange one gets tucked in right on top of that, just so the very top. And if you do have this glued down too far, all you have to do is tear off a little piece, put adhesive on the back, and then tuck this in. I'm sorry about the train. Most of you already know we um, our warehouse is right on the railroad tracks, but if you ever join us for an online event, which are really fun, we have one coming up uh, in November is our three-day event that we're doing online live. And then in December, we also have a one-day event. But at our, at our online events, when we go live, we every time a train passes, we give away a prize. So lots of trains pass by here. You can hear the trains, but that just gives you a chance to win, win a big prize that we'll mail to you. So the next part we will do is the arrow. So the arrow goes across the bottom. Put a little adhesive, chalk up your arrow however you 
choose. I'm gonna use a little sunset on that one, I think. This one's a little bit, a little bit darker of an orange. I think on the sample on your in, on, in your on your instructions, I think it uses an either amaretto or mocha. And these ends, I just do just a little bit on the ends. So the browns just give it a little more of a vintage look. Um, I'm brightening mine up just a little bit because I'm gonna. I would use some summer photos in there. Okay, and then out of your die cut, you also have one tag. It's rounded at the top. We are going to chop that one up and add our ribbon before we put it onto our page. So our ribbon, always on our instructions, we put any cutting diagrams that we need to do at the top here and then our ribbon cutting um, diagram. So with this, you need to take your ribbon and cut it into two six inch pieces. And you can do all of those cutting at the beginning of our kits or you can do them as we go. That's kind of what I'm doing now. And one of those six inch pieces gets pulled through the top and just tied once. This ribbon, you don't even have to tie it, tie it twice because it kind of catches and looks nice. And then you can either do, trim it at a slant, Oops. or you can make a nice little dove's tail by folding it over and trimming back towards you. Totally up to you which way what look you like better. So this tag, it goes in. On the instructions, we have it slightly underneath the green and just barely tucked under this photo mat down here. So the only other thing on this page is to do your Go See Do. And you can see here, what I would do is use a glue pen so that you can get most of the spots around here. You don't have to have adhesive on every single spot, but I would take my glue pen and just make a few dots around here, maybe around the O, and then put your Go See Do right behind it. I'll get this set up. Once you have that glued down to the colored paper that matches behind it, you have these little die cuts here. And those you just need to match up to use. Again, I would use your glue pen. And this small little piece goes into your G. One of the larger O or zero looking pieces goes into your O. This long, skinny, kind of funny looking O, that one goes in the bottom of your G. You can take that center out, but each E gets one that looks kind of like a D. And again, just a few dots from your glue pen. And once these are all adhered on, then you add this piece to your page. And you are done with page one. Now remember, I have mine just laid out because I am going to go back through and tack them down. That's how I typically do a layout. Um, if you do tack them down before you have pictures, make sure that you're not, that you'll be able to peel this one back up so that you can put a photo in. 
Um, you don't want to tack anything down over something where you want to add a photo. Okay, so there is page one. Once you have this all together, it just moves onto your page and page one is finished. And we will move on to page two. So all the leftover pieces that you have in your kit and that you had cut will be going on page two. So I have all my pieces kind of piled up here. I'm gonna move these out of the way. And the one thing we have not cut out yet is, see I left some of my die cuts in here for when I needed them later. I didn't punch everything out. But this is the piece we are going to cut out those little words to use. You can use a trimmer to trim those out or you can just cut them with your scissors. They're pretty small so they're it's pretty easy to get a straight cut on here. Totally up to you. I'm going to just trim them out because I already put my trimmer away. Trim them out by hand. But they're all in line so it is very simple to just um, trim them out in your trimmer too. It's rare that we do anything in a kit that has like a lot of fussy cutting or extra trimming or something like that. We try to have most things trimmed out for you. Try to make it as easy as possible for you to get a page done. Okay, so once you have those cut out, you can set your instructions right in front of you. Um, so you can kind of follow along with those two. Um, or you can just hit pause as we go and you can add things along with me. Okay, so the first piece you need is that two and a half by 12 piece that we cut out of our diagram. That is going to go right above, just right on the top of this first line of icons at the bottom there. On top of that, about a quarter of an inch up from the bottom of your stripe paper, we're going to add a brown strip. That one was already pre-cut for you in your kit. And the next thing that we're going to do is layer your white frames onto the other pieces here. So you'll need your five by seven green, which goes right back here. It's in about two inches from the right side. And there is a large frame that goes on the top of that. And again, chop these up any color. I tend to really like the orange, um, but it might look really good with blues on it on this one. I'm just doing a part of it, but your largest frame goes on top. And again, when you go to glue these down, make sure that you leave, you just barely tack it down so you can put pictures in later. And if you are putting pictures in now, you can just pause, add your photo, put it into your page. So your five by five that you cut out earlier, we have here, you have a frame that goes onto that. And that one goes towards the top of your stripe paper, maybe down a quarter of an inch, and then over into, it layers on top of your five by seven here just slightly. Now we have a yellow and an orange piece that are fairly small that go right down here. We are also going to get a frame that goes on those as well. I love this kit because it feels like it's it's very simple to put together but it feels like with all the colors and the layers it feels like you're really getting kind of a beefed up kit 
even though it's very simple to put together. So I had mentioned our online events. We typically do a one day online event about once a quarter and you get lots of stuff in your online event. We do, um, I think it's four classes. You get a thank you gift. Uh, we do prizes all day long. The one, next one day that is coming up is December 10th. And right now online, you can sign up if you go to online events. You go to shopquickquotes.com, go to online events, and you can sign up for that one. We're a little over half full for the, for the December event. So if you have any questions about that or anything, let us know. But we are excited to do our holiday layouts on December 10th. So save your spot because typically for one day events, we are so selling out on those. We have most of the year. So grab your spot. It's really a fun event. Okay. And if you could see here, I just layered my compass onto the white and that one can be glued down. This tag gets slid right in behind here. You want to tie your ribbon through the top, just like we did on the first page. And then the only other piece that we have, you want to chalk these up, these go right at the bottom of your blue 5x5. Five five. See, this is one reason that you want to line these up so that all the banners look the same and use use this as a template to trim your green one. And then we have words that go right on top of that. And again, uh, chalk them up. Actually, this one would look really nice with some orange around the edge. Uh, light moss would actually, light moss powder puff chalking ink would look really good with this around the edges. It's kind of that green minty color. And then the last two pieces are these little banners that go at top here. And those get glued just on the back side of these two frames. Okay, so you have the entire page done. I hope you find the perfect photos for these. And thank you so much for being a Club Q member. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy next month as well.